This segment is being brought to you by Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Join us in preserving and protecting Tennessee's wildlife. All right, welcome back everyone, and you can call us here at 737-7767. Until then, we start getting some calls in. Guys, this is prime time. If you really like bass fishing and you want a good one, I mean, this has got to be some of the best this fishing in the, the world. This is time of the year. And what better place to go than Kentucky Lake? I mean, you guys are, are going, you're going right now after the show to Kentucky Lake. Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, so, what better time to go to Kentucky Lake than right now? Right. It is buck bush bite is on. Yes, sir. Yes. And I want to talk to everybody a little bit about showing them some of the baits and stuff that we use now. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys, when they fish buck bushes, I got to tell you, they use the big old eight inch magnum lizard. Yes, sir. Yes. And, and now, this is Zoom. Zoom makes a lizard. Strike King makes a lizard. There's a lot of lizards out there. Uh, my preference now, I'm going to go ahead and say, my preference is green pumpkin. Hey, that's, I think yes. there's two colors, green pumpkin and green pumpkin. Yes. That's, 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 that's it. it. And, and really, that's that's the natural color of, it of, is. of, really, of it any is. lake, really. Honestly. That is. So just a great, great. Yes, this is good to flip. The only problem that, and Ben Parker taught me this, mm -hmm. the only problem with flipping lizards is that the real long tail on them, if you're getting up there close to the buck bushes, right. The, right. the tail wraps around the limb, and you sit there and go, it's oh, an man. Yeah. And Acrobat. you rattle that butt bush, yes, <laughs> there went the fish. Yes, and and they're, they're out of there. Yes, so yep. you guys, we were talking about this. These little rodents, this is Strike King mm -hmm. rodent. Strike King. We mm -hmm. call them sweet beavers or beaver, whatever. Yes, they don't have quite the appendages, but it's, they do a easier. great job. It's, it's, easy. And it's, it's easier to put them where you want to put them. That's where they don't. They won't. Hang up on a bush. All right, we got some calls here. We got Chris. Chris, how can we help you tonight? Hey, here's Chris Snow. How are you, buddy? Hey, brother. How you doing, Chris? I'm doing good. Uh, I was going to remind you of the uh, tournament next weekend on Center Hill. Yes, sir. Uh, that will be... Um, that's going to be the Charles Preston Open Tournament on Center Hill Lake, right? That's right, sir. That's uh, it. It'll be from safe flight till 3 o'clock. Uh, guaranteed first place, $2,000. Okay, now y'all got, got it on the flyers. $2,500 is guaranteed. Twenty five. Well, yep. okay, I'm sorry. Uh, $2,500 guaranteed first place. Yep. Um, it goes from safe flight till 3. It is going out May the 5th out of Raglan Bottoms. Is that right? Sure. That's right. That's correct. Uh, if you need more info, you can call Dwayne Henderson at Ace Hardware in Smithfield. Yep. And you may sign up that morning. That's right. Now, y'all are going to open registration, I read, at like 4.30? Yeah, yeah four, uh, there'll be somebody there for 4.30 or 5 o'clock at the latest. So they can register at the ramp. It is $100 a boat. Yeah, um, $10 big fish option. With 100% payback? Yeah, 100% payback. Chris, you just told everybody. All right. <laughs> Chris, now you're headed to Kentucky Lake too now. Yeah, I'm uh, headed up there tomorrow. All right. Well, you might want to watch the show. We got some stuff here you might want to be throwing. Uh, don't worry. I got it all. <laughs> <laughs> that is my good friend, Chris. And Chris Snow is the inventor of the snow spinner. And Chris, you know me, brother. I wish you all the luck. Uh, no problem. Hey, another thing on that snow spinner, I've got a new one coming out. Uh, he does. For night time. Yeah. It's called the Snow Spin HD Nighttime. Uh, uh, you'll have it there on your show here in a couple of weeks. That's uh, right. right now I'm just tweaking it and getting it right. So uh, and, and I'll let you make a debut of it on your show. Well, thank you, Chris. And can I tell them you've been tweaking it with four and five pound small mouths? Is that right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're not a shy bone in that boy's body. I tell you what, I, I we we thank the world of Chris. Chris, you're an awesome friend and an awesome fisherman, and we just appreciate you so much. All right, thank, thank you a lot, Hugh. Thanks, brother. All right. All right, we wish him the best out there. He's gonna be fishing against you out there now. <laughs> and we have who do we have here? You? Yes. Hey, it's Gib. Hey, Gib, how you doing? Gib Lum, how you doing, brother? Good, man. Uh, go Blue Raiders, sir. Eh? I, I oh, tell yeah, you, I, I told you we'd fire some Blue yes, Raiders sir. up. Right. <laughs> I hear you. Hey, you remember I talked to you uh, last year, you know, my boy and his friends, you know, they was all into the fishing and hunting and everything. Yeah. Well, they're juniors in high school now, Shovel. 
All right. Well, there you go. All they can think about is two-legged deer. (laughs) (laughs) They'll get over it. They'll get over it. They don't even care about turkey hunting anymore. Once you catch one, you're you're done. (laughs) (laughs) Well, anyway, uh, just wanted to say uh, I think it's great them boys uh, 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 got that college tournaments going on and everything, and uh, I just I, I can't say enough about it. I think it's a great sport for everybody to be in. And I uh, just wanted to tell you, too, was uh, sitting in the carport tonight, grilling out some hamburgers, looked out back to two coyotes, and uh, shot one of them, and nice. I sent you a picture right before the show. Awesome, Gib. Well, I tell you what, I talked to Zach uh, Knowles uh, right before the show. He said to remind, he said he reminded me that we're coming to see you, Gib, and, and, right. and do some filming on some coyotes. That'll be great, man. Uh, y'all be good, and uh, go Blue Raiders. Yes, there you go. Hey. Well, you just keep that grill going with those burgers. We'll be there shortly. Hey, brother, you come to my house. I'm feeding you. That sounds like a winner, Gil. <laughs> Thank you, brother. All right, man. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Good. And we got uh, Kathy. Kathy, how can we help you? Uh, I just wanted to tell my grandson, Ricky. <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey, Nana. <laughs> hey, darling. I can now, buddy. I, uh, hi, Miss Kathy. <laughs> so this is your grandson, Miss Kathy? Hello? Yes, it's me. Oh, okay, and this is your grandson, Ricky? Yes, it is. <laughs> Are you proud of his bass fishing skills? I'm I'm so proud of that boy I can't hardly stand it. <laughs> well, I tell you what, it is awful nice to have a proud grandmother call on this show and talk about her grandson. Do you want to tell any embarrassing stories while we got you? Uh oh, here we go. You better watch it, Nana. Uh, no, probably okay. not. If I want him to speak to me, again, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, don't don't ever forget that we gave you an opportunity. Okay. <laughs> I, know. I was going to ask him when was he going to take his nana fishing. There you go. When are you going to take nana fishing? Whenever. i uh, tomorrow if you want to, nana. <laughs> Okay. There's something about if you'll help him with this. Call in and tell him how proud I was of him. Well, he's a great one. I tell you what, we really appreciate him. Thanks, Nana. Thank you. You're welcome. And we've got Jay. Jay, how can we help you tonight? Uh, My question is, uh, what's good for turkey mites and little little bitty deer ticks? Ah, now, turkey mites, <laughs> I'm not so sure about it because uh, now I, we've seen them. I, I put permanent on them. I, I just believe I in, in permanent on. Um, and I don't have a problem with the turkey mites with permanent on. I guess permanent on works for them too, but especially the, the sea ticks now, um, permanent on is, uh, it's, I just, I've tried others. They're not quite as good. Uh, when you spray Permanon or Duranon on, you don't have the, the problem anymore. Mm-hmm. But I do want to tell you about a product that Randall Staggs came out with called stick and uh, mm-hmm. look it up, uh, uh, stick a tick on the website, and you'll find Randall Staggs right there in Lawrenceburg. He makes something that gets rid of those things for you. So you might want to give him a, a look-see and see what he's got. But uh, that's how I get rid of them is Permanon and Duranon. Does that help you? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, boy, they're doing a good job. All right, <laughs> thank, Jay, you, thank you, sir. Thank you, brother. And Jeff, Jeff, how can we help you tonight? Jeff? Jeff? Okay. Jeff is not there yet. All right. Well, guys, hey, great, great calls. Appreciate all those fine calls, and especially Nana calling me. <laughs> we gave you an opportunity. <laughs> But guys, I want to get back on the fishing stuff, okay, uh, because it is a very good time of year. Just about anybody can get out, get some of this kind of action. Mm-hmm. And all they got to do is just, it does take practice, yes, I got to say. Yes, sir, it does. And this is the practice where you take the little one-gallon pail and you put it out here. And you, you try put to flip in it. And yes, you flip sir. into it. And, and I use, how many hours we did that, you know? I used the game. The, 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 the booyah game. game. The booyah game. I love I the booyah. Booyah yep. came out with a game that 
actually gives you points. <laughs> yes. And that's where kids, because every time you make it in the cup, it goes, booyah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> this is Joy's, Joy's yep. in there, and I got the thing laid out in the living room, and I'm hitting, oh, booyah. Yeah. She goes, you did it again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it takes practice to do really good flipping and pitching, but it's well worth it. And, it is. And, uh, the old school was we used to put uh, coffee cans out and we'd hit the coffee cans and, yeah. you know, you start off with a number three wash tub and, <laughs> you know, work your way down, work your way down to That's a coffee right. cup, yeah. you know, it's pretty good. But guys, how do I mean, when y'all do flipping and pitching, what are you looking for mainly? I mean, I know butt bushes and stuff like that, but what else are you looking for? Is there anything else well, you for? Well, uh, me and Austin, we kind of picked up... Um, at, at Kentucky Lake, we fished a tournament. Uh, it was the it was the TCBFT. Uh, we we had seventh place, uh, had 18 pounds. Uh, I think it was two weeks ago, mm -hmm. and uh, and all we was doing was flipping pretty much. Yeah. And we we got caught up in we'd catch a fish here and there off of a certain type of tree. And what you got to do, you just got to remember what type of tree it is. Whether oh, it's yeah. whether it's green leaves, whether it's a bear tree, sycamore, yes, exactly. Yeah, exactly. There's so many, there's so, so many, many out there. Yeah. And, and, but you're right. I've seen the times when you could only catch them yes, on a willow, <laughs> exactly. and they and they wouldn't hit anything exactly. Else. Yes, or river birch or something like that, and they'd exactly. be right there. Yeah. Yes, sir. And, and, in which you. in which in that case, um, you can you can cut down a lot of water. You in, sure can. In, that, you in can a tournament. Limit. Yes, sir. What is it, 90% of the fish live in 2% of the water? You've know, you <laughs> yeah. got to figure right. out where the yeah. yes, the, 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 depth, the depth of water mm -hmm. would make made a difference for us, too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, you know, the, the buck bushes being in 2 foot compared to 5 foot or right. 2 foot compared to 4 foot, that big, that just that little bit of difference made a difference. Mm -hmm. Okay. What? So. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, we got to go now do our tip of the week. This week's tip of the week is being brought to you by Interstate Batteries of Music City, located at 3729 Highway 109 North in Lebanon, Tennessee, home of your alternative power source. All right, this week's tip of the week, I'm going to get you away from fishing for just about 30 or 40 seconds and talk to you a little bit more about turkey hunting, and that is, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of the hunters are leaving the woods, 9, 9.30 in the morning. You are leaving at the wrong time because early in the morning most of those gobblers when they gobble the hens are going to them by 9 9 30 10 o'clock somewhere in there now the hens are leaving those gobblers and going and finding nesting areas and laying eggs so that lonesome old gobbler he's he had a, a harem full of about 10 hens there for a little while now 9 30 10 o'clock he's one lonely guy now that's the time you want to start doing a little bit more aggressive calling and you'll probably get better results. So the great thing about right now, this late in the season, is middle of the day on up through to the evening is a great time to be concentrating on that gobbler. So if you know he's in the area, stick with him. Make you a little fanny pack, get you, get you some, uh, uh, some of those snack sticks from flowers and some water bottles and maybe... Can they carry M and M's, honey? <laughs> okay, M and M's. <laughs> carry those we and just make a day of it, and, and carry a family member. I promise you, you'll make memories for life. But uh, don't give up so quick on that turkey. Hunt. Hey, we got to take a break. When we come back, speaking of turkeys, Joy just—I mean, she fixed one in a casserole that will just uh, uh, your tongue will beat your brains out over it. So mm -hmm. hurry back to more of Southern Woods and Water. This segment is being brought to you by Covenant Heating and Cooling, providing excellence in comfort solutions. This week's recipe of the week is being brought to you by Broker Headquarters Group. Let our team in camo help you with all of your real estate needs. All right, well, I promised you that she was going to get one of those lip smackers going for you. She has. Uh, we took a turkey, and she fixed a turkey like casserole which is really good now i have to tell you joy my favorite still the fajita strips and the mushroom gravy and all that kind of stuff but this has got to be number two all right well that's because it's the only second one there's one and two <laughs> where, where do we take this turkey kroger's no we can take it kentucky 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 you got him a nice big tom he was huge and um, I called him. He said, you want to go? I said, 
no, he said, you don't want to take a break? I said, no, I'll just wait here and sit here for a while. Right after he left, I called him. I said, I'm done. You can come get me. And I got a, what, a six and a half inch Six and a half inch bearded, bearded hen. hen, which that is was very fun. rare. Yeah. That's yeah. rare. Yeah, that was fun. Okay. Wild turkey. And it's already on the website, so you don't have any problem with that. Phil put it on there for us. And I cooked the turkey, and I cook it in chicken broth. And I let it cook in butter, chopped onions, garlic, celery, anything you want to put in like that. And I let it cook down until it was really tender. Then I let it cool. Well, I'll tell you what I did in this one, though. I did put some baby carrots that I had in the refrigerator, just a little carrots. I threw those in there about 12 minutes before I turned it off. And then I let it cool. Then I tore my turkey in pieces so just with my fingers. And then I put some herbs in from flowers, all those mixed herbs that I have. I did that. I always use their herbs. And I brought this just so you can see. Stephen, can they see this if I hold it up? I can't see the monitor. Is it okay? I put this. I just had it in. I didn't have a recipe. I just had it in the pantry. So I used this in there. I didn't do anything except put it over in there. Yeah, that gravy, chicken gravy mix, dry. And then I used the Mexican four cheese and just some sour cream. I cooked my rice and put in there and put it in the oven. It is good, isn't it? It is good. It really, it really good. was good. And just use whatever you want to. If you, I put on the uh, website about the, well, almonds and water chestnuts if you want them. But it's good. Yep. And listen, we have to say one thing real quick. Patty and Frank at Hendricks Creek Marina, we're going up there. Mm -hmm. at Del Hala, and they have a real big special on their website. If you will go to their website in May, they're offering all kinds Hendricks of discounts. HendricksCreekResort.com. Hendricks, well, oh, or go to Southern Woods and Waters Southern and get Woods it. And, Waters. and Mike and Billy, get ready. Real Foot Lake, Memorial Day weekend, 25th on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. We will be there, and we have a ball down there. And you can catch catfish, bass, crappie, shellcracker, everything. You? Right. I'm I, ready to go fishing. Me too. Me too. And you can get this recipe along with many, many others of ours on Southern Woods and Waters website and just click on the recipe section. Thank you, Miss Joy, for that one. I got to say, since she did bring up Real Foot Lake now, she had to bring that up. Uh, Billy Blakely, um, the general manager out there at Blue Bank Resort, taught me how to flip crankbaits. And buddy, hmm. when you're flipping crankbaits and those cypress knees and everything, you be good. oh, you gotta be, you gotta be better than good. Yeah. Yeah. And Billy is the master of it. But man, we were bringing in two, three, up to five pounders out of those cypress knees, flipping crankbaits. Now, yes, uh, a lot it's of different. people, you, well, that's, that's been, six hooks it. that can get hung up yeah, as opposed to one. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it is a little bit different. You do have to get a little bit more practiced yes. at it. Uh, I was embarrassed to keep telling Billy, Billy, you're going to have to pull over so I can get my crankbait. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, you know, what I wanted to tell people is soft plastics usually is a pretty good thing to use right now. As it, far it is. As flipping and pitching. It is. Jigs, uh, and I got to say, you know, if you're not using the stand-up jig, I think you're fishing for second or third place, matter of fact, because that stand-up jig, just like this one, this is a one ounce, I do believe we Came to conclusion that's a one ounce. I believe so. But uh, I use the attack pack on, on the back here. Uh, they make make a little uh, jig trailer that you can see, but this stands straight up. And what you know, if if a bass is on bed, she sees that with those uh, uh, with the claws hanging up, she's gonna think he's in the attack mode. Yes. She's gonna take him out. <laughs> I promise. Uh, and another thing I love, guys, and y'all do too, when you get in that skinny water. Man, a frog just cannot hardly oh, be God. beaten. It's fun. There's nothing like it. There's nothing, nothing like, like There's it. There's nothing like a frog bite. Oh. I mean, when you watch the six inches of the lake go down all of a sudden <laughs> yep. when that bass yep. opens its mouth. Sounds it's like gone. a commode flush. It does. It does. It does. <laughs> and then I want to show just a couple of other little things, and that is my good friend Bill Barton with B&B Lures. Those square bill crankbaits, they are awesome to throw right in front of those butt bushes and front of that grass or in the ditch line, you can get a lot more strikes out in front and then move your way up into the buck bushes is how I usually do it and then try to do it that way. But great, great deal. Hey, we got to take another break. When we can come back, we're going to have our, oh, yeah, we do. Thank you. 
we do have a giveaway first and and this is we got a thirty dollar value of leland lures and this is the the crappie magnets and there's a couple of trout magnets in there but there is some uh juiced up panfish blend in here <laughs> that you can also put on these things. It's gonna help increase that crappie bite or that bluegill bite. So be the fifth caller here, 737-7767. Hey, it's crappie time in Tennessee. You gotta come get you some of these. This week's calendar of events is brought to you by Stand Up Chicks, where we stand up against the rest. All right, welcome back, and congratulations to Mark Drowning. Mark, you are the proud, proud winner of our package. I promise you, you'll catch tons of crappie on those things. <laughs> those things just attract crappie, and if you use that little juice stuff on there, just increases it in ever more. Our calendar starts off with tomorrow. The senior bass anglers are going to be where I'd like to be, and that's Lake Gunnersville. They're going to be at Lake Gunnersville on Goose Pond. Can you imagine some of the 10, 9 and 10 pounders on bed? Oh, my yeah. stars. And they can that would was, be fun. There was a 1044 <laughs> weighed in last weekend in Kentucky. I know it. That's yeah. awesome, man. Yeah. And, you know, there's, there's both those fisheries are tough to be. They are. Let me tell you what, next Thursday night, do not want to miss next Thursday night show. I've got one of my dear, dear friends coming on the show with me next Thursday night. It is Andrew Robertson. You know him as Smalljaw, mm -hmm. the guy that has smalljaw.com. He's going to be on the show with me next week. We're talking about everything it takes to get you to Dale Holla and how to catch a smallmouth on Dale Hollis. So that, don't want to miss that. Hey, next Saturday and Sunday, the 4th and 5th, Music City Bass Anglers will be at Kentucky Lake. And the 6th, ladies and gentlemen, is Joy's birthday. My dear sweet butter has Mitchell. birthday. She's going to be 39 again. So we, we look forward to that. May 11th, do not want to forget this. May 11th, ladies and gentlemen, Easter Seals Tournament. It's going on out at Percy Priest Lake. Uh, it is the Easter Seals Tournament on Percy Priest. You need to contact Kathy Breland at 292-6640, extension number 11. Kathy is asking for more boaters to show up and please be a part of that to help take some of these wheelchair-bound children out for a day of fishing. And, man, give it up for those. I'll tell you what, they, they just touch your heart. Also on May 11th is the 19th Annual Governor's Bass Tournament. That's Austin P. And it's going to be at the Parish Landing State Park on Kentucky Lake. So uh, be able to uh, take care of that right there. And don't forget the 12th Tennessee turkey season closes. I do have just a few seconds left. I, said, I want to say thanks, Ricky. Thanks, Austin. Man, y'all do such a great job. You're such a banner wavers out there for all our youngsters to follow. And remember, guys, you are somebody's hero. And we'd like to see, if you're interested, if you want to get involved in MTSU collegiate bass fishing, give them a call or look on the website, right, MTSU on the website, website under sports clubs, and you'll see it right there. Remember, please wear those personal flotation devices. We'll see you next week right here on this channel. Be ready for Realtor Talk.